morning vlog it's a beautiful day it's Monday and I am going down to the framers to pick up my pictures okay so I've just been to the frame shop and picked up my artwork and it looks absolutely brilliant I'll give you a sneak peek once I'm back in the studio, so I'm going to get home now, have a coffee, unwrap the frames, the framed paintings I should say, and then hopefully this afternoon get down some work as well. So I shall catch up with you later on this morning. studio after being at the framers this morning and I've brought these gorgeous originals down because I'm going to be unwrapping them shortly and photographing them eventually they're going to end up on the website but first of all I'll be sending a preview out to all the people on my mailing list I like to give them the first opportunity to purchase if they wish and if they don't then they go on the website after release to the general public shall we say so that's my job for this afternoon I'm also going to give you a sneak peek into how I photograph my artwork so stay tuned if that's something you might be interested in another job I've got on the cards this afternoon is researching companies that might be able to print my work onto canvas canvas prints you guys what do you think about that I I feel very excited and I think shallows would be a fantastic one to start with I think it would I think it would transition really really well and I also think it would be superb to be able to offer you a, a brand new product as well i've never ever had my work put onto canvas before first of all there's a lot of things to look into sort of the costs of it and whether it's going to translate to a good selling price i mean there's no point investing in something if it's just going to sit gathering dust you know it needs to be the right price for you as well so all that needs looking into and then it's finding a company who can do it to a really high standard so that it comes out looking as good as the original so i'm excited to explore that further and i will keep you posted but i've got a busy afternoon ahead of me so i'm going to get all my camera gear set up and get these pictures photographed Okay, so I've just flipped over to using my phone to film the next little section of the vlog and that will allow me to show you how I set my camera up, what camera I'm using and the lighting as well that I use in order to take great pictures of my artwork for website and print use. First piece of kit here is my daylight light and I use this to illuminate the photographs which I take on the floor using an overhead tripod. Now, this is super bright and there's a reason why I've not got it on. I'm going to switch it on quickly now. How bright is that? I mean, it really is quite blinding. So I use that when I'm taking pictures over here. And I have this white piece of Corex on the floor and that's what I put my pictures. And then I have this set up here. So I've got this Manfrotto tripod and you can use this stood up like a regular tripod or you can take the centre stalk out and use it as an overhead, which is brilliant. a very very productive afternoon photographing all these pieces of work okay so this is effervescence and wow I'm so happy with with the way they've been framed and they look stunning they've been framed in white wood in a tray frame this style is a tray frame and there's a little gap that runs all the way around the painting which is lovely I really like that on the back it's all strung up and ready to hang titled and signed just about ready to go but what I need to do first is get up to the house and get all the images that I've taken this afternoon onto the laptop and then get them edited in Lightroom. If you're not familiar with Lightroom, it's a program that I've got on my laptop, but you can also download it as an app. 
it's absolutely brilliant it's such a high quality editing suite so I'd recommend you look into that because what I use, usually do as well is sometimes when I'm on the go I'm photographing stuff it means I can edit it and put images on Facebook or social media as I need to so it's it's really good for on the go shots as well as really professional pieces as I've been working on this afternoon so still got a lot to do so I'm gonna crack on that I'm using for these photographs that I'm working on today is a Canon G7X. Now it's not cheap by any means, it cost me about £500 and I invested in it last year. Now to be honest with you it's one of the best things I've ever spent my hard-earned cash on. It is fantastic for photographing artwork, it's brilliant for vlogging, just family photos and things like that but yeah I can't recommend it highly enough. So I'd say it's probably a middle of the range camera so it's a step up from a little sort of point and shoot Canon that I had before, but it really is the business. So that's the camera that I use. Okay, so I am about to start a new piece of work and I wanted to show you the beginning of that and a little bit of the journey through it as well. So I'll be filming over the next couple of days I'm putting those clips together for you to show you from the start to the finish. Okay, so I have chosen in my mind a palette of colours. I'm going to be working with teals and turquoise and blue, but there's going to be little infusions of bright colour too, so it's going to be an interesting one. I also had a feeling that I'd like to create a painting that conveyed energy and calm. Yeah, you're probably sat there thinking, what is she talking about? How is that even possible? Well, I think it is possible. I think it's possible to create a painting that makes you feel alive when you look at it. When you see the colours and the shapes, it gives the picture a feeling of being alive with energy. Yet at the same time, the colours are soothing and calming. So that's my point of focus for this piece. So without further ado, I'm going to get myself set up. I've got a 40 centimetre square deep edge canvas. It's a Winsor & Newton one. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get started, so let's see how this one turns out. That painting was amazing. It was such an experience to work on it and it was so joyful and I, I really hope that that 
transmits through the screen and you can pick up on that when you look at the image of it at home. Oh, it was wonderful and I, I just can't wait to start a new one now. It, it's, it's becoming, yeah, a real journey. This abstract painting is a real journey, that's for sure. It's totally different to everything and anything I've done before. I mean, I have music playing on my old school CD player back there and I, I feel that the music actually helped to influence the, the brush strokes and the colours I was choosing. So yeah, it's really interesting for me as well. Each step on this journey, I'm learning something new. I also hope that I've managed to convey that feeling of energy in the painting, but also create little pockets of calm. And I have sort of stood and studied it, and I think I've done it. I think with the swirling brush strokes, you've got, you've got that energy and it really pulls you in. But if you find a small piece of the painting just to rest your eyes upon, the colours, because there's so many translucent layers that the paint I used, I watered down a lot. It was acrylic paint, by the way, and I watered it down so it was really quite thin. And I applied layer upon layer upon layer, so all these colours are overlapping. And it gives the painting a sort of luminance, a sort of glow. And if you find a piece of the picture and look at it, it really sort of draws you in and creates that feeling of calm, which is what I was aiming to do, so did it. <laughs> anyway, I've had a really, really busy week here and this weekend coming, someone in my house is 12. Yeah, so there's birthday parties on the agenda. Friends are coming, we're going ice skating. There's, oh, it's all going off. I can't wait, it's gonna be brilliant. So just to unwind for a little while, I'm going to drive up to the next village now up in Bolster Stone and take a little evening stroll along the lane there just to clear my head and chill out. Oh, it's been such a gorgeous day here in Sheffield. I can't tell you, it's lovely to have the sun back and the warmth. I'm like a different person compared to the winter. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. If you don't subscribe already and you enjoy the vlog, just click the button below to, to subscribe and get regular updates when I release a new vlog. But until next time, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.